Fornication such as this. There's a lot involved to ensure that this day is permanently etched in our memories. My grandfather once told me that a best man's speech should last as long as the groom makes love. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Scott and Jen for uh, putting this beautiful wedding together. It's, it's simply, it's beautiful, beautiful. Jen, I, I've got to tell you, you, make a very beautiful bride. Thank you. And Scott, well, now that you're married, you're going to replace the money in your wallet with the pictures of your beautiful bride. Already do. A little bit about Scott. Scott was born small town hospital back in Maryland, <laughs> April 5th, 1978. Did a lot of research to try to find some sort of worldly event that <laughs> happened on that day. Just apparently nothing else happened. <laughs> <laughs> but some members of the hospital still refer to it as Ugly Tuesday. <laughs> I've known Scott for about 17 years and was honored truly honored when I was asked to be his best man. You see, not only is Scott a godfather to my youngest daughter, but he's also my best man at my wedding almost four years ago. It means a lot to me. It really does. There's one thing that I've learned from Scott to write down my speech. <laughs> the title of best man, however, confused me. In the words of Seinfeld, if I'm the best man, why did you Marry him. <laughs> so I did what I always do when I'm trying to figure something out. I Googled it. <laughs> the, uh, it's kind of funny. The original duty of the best man, as I share with the guys on the ride here, was to serve as an armed backup for the groom in case uh, there was a, a kidnapping by uh, the family of the bride that didn't so much approve of the groom. The best part uh, is in the title refers to his skills with a sword, should the need arise. You wouldn't want to take the average member of your weapon-wielding posse to steal yourself a wife, would you? <laughs> so, of course, Jen, I didn't bring, I didn't bring a sword. I mean, that would be silly, but I did bring a Marine Corps tactical K-bar. <laughs> the funny thing is, is, he's also in charge of standing outside of the room, the newly wedged room, throughout the evening. So it's a good thing that I'm staying down the hall to uh, look out for my buddy here. <laughs> All kidding aside, look at this couple. They're glowing, absolutely glowing. Two personalities so similar, both patient, forgiving, loyal, and would absolutely give you the shirt off their back to help a friend. In which, I might add, Scott, this is our track shirt that you loaned me a couple years ago. I wanted to go ahead and give that back. I, 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 yeah. I don't know if it fits anymore, but it's all yours. <laughs> Jennifer, if Scott is even half the husband to you as he's been a best friend to me, then rest assured you've got yourself quite a catch. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to raise your glasses. Scott and Jennifer, here's to a, life, a long life of happiness together, laughter, fulfilling dreams, and all the lessons that come along. Thank you.